name is Benjamin Bailey, and today I'm going to be teaching you a quick and easy way to scale your images. Let's go over and grab an image. I'm going to right click on this one with my friend Shelby and hit Edit with GIMP. This opens it up in GIMP, and then I'm going to go into Image, and then I'm going to hit Scale Image. This scales the entire image and the canvas and everything, all the layers. We can get into layers and the canvas in other tutorials, but this is just a quick and easy way to scale your image. So as you can see, we have two inputs right here. We had the width and the height, and it's currently set to percent. So this is really easy. Say we want to scale it down to 25%, and then we hit scale. We can see our image scaled quite a bit down, and it's 25%. So if I hit undo at this resolution right here, at this zoom, if I undo, to before I scaled it, you can see the image was quite a bit bigger, four times bigger. So zoom out, I'm going to go back to image, scale image. I want to show you some other options we have. First, we can set it to pixels instead of percent. So since this is 2000 by 3000, say we want it down to about 800 by 600. I can just select this number and hit 800, enter, and then puts it down to about that size. If I hit scale, that's a good general size to use. That also scales it about 25%. I mean, down to 25%. So if we hit scale image, another thing I want to mention is that if you onlink it, then you can scale it by different amounts. So the two numbers aren't linked. So if I hit scale now, you'll notice that squashed a little bit. So hit undo. So in general, for your general image scaling, you want to keep these, this little chain linked. Otherwise, the aspect ratio is going to get all funky. Another note is usually you want to scale down instead of upscaling. Upscaling can cause a loss of information since the computer doesn't know what actually belongs in between the pixels. Whereas a camera, it can shoot a higher resolution. The computer just has to guess what would be there. So in general, you want to scale your images down. So you can either do that percent, pixels, inches, millimeters, points, picas, etc. So it's up to you how you want to scale it, but um, keep it linked to keep the aspect ratio or unlink it if you're doing something like text or gradients and um, scale your image down to something worth useful, like 800 by 600 or so. Scale or hit reset if you want to change the numbers. Scale it and voila, your image is a smaller size, easy for sending people, and you can go in here and hit save as. You always wanna make sure you save as your picture, otherwise you're going to, if you just save your image right away, you are going to lose your um, original image size that has all the extra detail in there. So if you save it right now, and then you close the program, you're gonna lose your image, you're gonna lose your original image size. So you wanna be really careful to make sure you save as. So this is save as, and this is about 800 by 600, so that's just what I'll call it, 800 by 600. Hit enter, and then ask me what quality I want it. So I want it about 100%. Since I just want to scale it, I don't necessarily want to make it a smaller file size by adding compression, which can reduce the detail of the quality of the image. I just want to leave it 100%. Hit save, voila, open up my image folder, Go over here and voila there we have around 800 by 600 your image is smaller and easy to send to friends stay tuned for more tutorials catch you later bye